So and <laughs> at this point, your publishing model seems the kind of a combination of the two worlds. You have uh, traditional textbooks and mm -hmm. the book sites, which mm -hmm. is a pretty novel idea. Mm -hmm. And uh, can you describe what your model is? Uh, sure. So uh, uh, we evolved to this model while developing the intro course. Mm -hmm. uh, and if we're fun whenever you do a book project like a book, uh, you wind up having uh, way more material than goes into the book. And, but we realized we could just put it on the web uh, once we uh, developed you know, basic templates. Uh, so we just pour everything into the web. And then when it comes time to write the book, uh, we can pick the best of it, tell the story, uh, organize it. The web thing is dynamic, it keeps going, it's also got links, it's also got big data and other things that couldn't possibly mm -hmm. uh, go in a book. Uh, and we tell the students that uh, the web is for use uh, while you're coding. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, But if you really want to learn it for the first time or study for an exam, you can't beat the book because uh, that tells the story the way that you want to hear it. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, it, that was a test. Uh, and then we did it for algorithms. Uh, it came out even better for algorithms, uh, I think. We had uh, 1.2 million unique visitors to the 126 wow. site last year. Yeah, uh, I think the main reason for this is, I mean, one of the few <laughs> reasons is, last time I not checked, if you, should ch if you just search one, one to six, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's the top result in Google. Well, if you, yeah, if you search <laughs> FFT.java or other things like that, yeah, you get us. Yeah, the, the top yeah. results is yeah. many algorithms. Yeah, yeah. so, uh, and I think uh, that's, that's really going to um, uh, expand and multiply because nobody else on the web has anything close. Mm -hmm. And we're first there. We have uh, 50,000 pages of stuff or more. Uh, it's going to be pretty tough for somebody to uh, effectively compete with it. Not to mention the fact that big competitors like uh, Knuth and CLRS don't have real code. Yeah. Uh, and they have algorithms that you wouldn't even implement. So, and not Knuth. Knuth is, I think I'm aligned with Knuth. He says he wouldn't even bother to write about something that he couldn't run on his desktop machine. Yeah. Uh, Very cool. Uh, but many other uh, books uh, write about galactic algorithms. And yeah. yeah. You're not going to put them on the web. The, the thing that I wind up getting the most questions about is people want to know, uh, where's your implementation of Fibonacci heaps, say? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I couldn't imagine a situation where uh, you would notice notice it in practice. Yeah. Uh, so why would I implement that? True. 